The Sun, which is a publication in the UK, has made a curious decision to get rid of one of their features. It is known as the Page Three Girls, and it's essentially just a part of the publication that features topless women. That's it. Okay. I assume that that was a lucrative part of their business, but they've done away with it. Now, Huckabee is kind of annoyed by this because feminists claim that it's a sexist part of the publication that they should have gotten rid of. Well, Huckabee disagrees. In fact, he has an argument in favor of it in this next video. Take a look. It's getting harder to keep up with what you're supposed to believe to be a good feminist. One of the other great feminist causes of the day is the crusade to allow women to walk around in public shirtless the way some men do. Celebrities like Chelsea Handler and Miley Cyrus have joined in, and now they're filling the Internet with topless photos of themselves, all in the name of fighting sexism and inequality. So are topless photos of women an offensive display of sexism or an empowering blow against sexism? I have a feeling most men don't care much either way. Except for, he, for him. <laughs> yeah. He cares quite a bit. Well, that's why you did a whole segment on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I know this is hard for the simple-minded. I, me, no understand. Breasts, either way. Mm -hmm. You want free or no free. Me, no understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so we'll try to break it down. So now, Chelsea Handler uh, is in charge of her own body. Mm -hmm. So if she wants to free the nipple, which is the campaign that she's been doing, well, then the feminist position would be well, have at it, Hoss. Free the nipple all you like because you're in charge of your own body. Exactly. Right? Now, it is a completely different issue when you talk about uh, the image that you're putting out for young women out there and the pressures that they feel that they are under based on uh, body images that are put out in in the world mm -hmm. okay now you could have different opinions on that some people might say oh come on man give it a rest let us see the girls in the bikinis right mm -hmm. and I find that believe it or not a somewhat legitimate point okay it is a legitimate point right. I'll elaborate on that a little so bit. so we, we will elaborate mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. um, but it is also a legitimate point to say hey that presents an issue for how you typecast women and how uh, women view themselves when they're younger, et cetera, right? But the most important point is those two things are separate, mm -hmm. okay? They are not related. The only thing that relates them is breasts, the main thing Huckabee seems to be focusing on here. So right. he's like, I, I don't understand. I, I, I'm flummoxed as to what to do. Well, if you had a mind, it would be a little easier for you. Right. I think that that segment that Huckabee did is indicative of what most people think of feminists. And it's a very simplified understanding of the movement, right? There are many different schools of feminism, and it does get confusing. But to make the assumption that all feminists are against, you know, women bearing their breasts or showing their bodies in any way, shape, or form is wrong. There is a school of feminism that believes that if you are a female who wants to be a stripper, for instance, or a sex worker, you should be able to do that because it's your body and it's your choice. There's another school of feminism that believes, no, we are over-sexualized, so as a result, we shouldn't pose naked in any way, shape, or form. So I agree with the first school of feminism, which is it's your body, do whatever the hell you want. But the reason why I would say feminists generally have an issue with the way women are depicted in the media is because they are usually just sexual objects, right? There isn't a lot of focus on the achievements of women as opposed to how sexy they are, how good they look. Right. Uh, I would counter your nuanced argument, Anna, with me no like feminism. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, it is bad. Mm -hmm. Makes no sense. Right. And also, the Free the Nipple campaign is. Of course, part of it has to do with women who might want to be at a beach topless, and they shouldn't be reprimanded for that in any way, shape, or form. But I think that a bigger part of that movement is about women who happen to breastfeed in public and they get ostracized for it, right? Mm. Women should be able to breastfeed in public, okay? That's not meant to be a sexual thing. It's a human nature thing, and it shouldn't be an issue. And that's something that a lot of celebrities are trying to raise awareness about. In Chelsea Handler's case, she just really likes attention, <laughs> so I think that's why she's doing it. So you got to keep it real about that too. So I remember one of the most amazing things I ever heard was when George Bush uh, literally said, "I don't do nuance," and I thought, "Oh, but it was early in his term, first term," and I was mm -hmm. like, "Oh boy, we're in a world of hurt here." Okay, because we, the leader of the free world, so-called, right, doesn't do nuance. We're in a lot of trouble mm -hmm. because everything in the world is nuance. So. Um, there are different kinds of Republicans. Huckabee might be able to understand this, right? There are Republicans who are more religious like him. There are ones that are less religious. There are ones who believe in wars everywhere like Lindsey Graham, and there are ones who are against wars, generally speaking, like Rand Paul. So <laughs> Huckabee would come out there and be like, 
Me no understand Republican. One says war, other one says peace. Me no get it. Right. Right. So yeah, knucklehead, you got to do nuance to understand it. So there are different kinds of feminism, as Anna explained. I, I don't love the camp that's against porn. I'm solidly against that type of feminist. Doesn't mean I hate all feminists. Mm -hmm. It depends. What do they think? Exactly. And I know. Call me crazy. Yeah. I actually want to know what they think. And we've talked about this before, but there are different waves of feminism as well. So when you have people who just rail against feminism, fem feminism in general, I mean, you got to really delve deeper and figure out what is it like. Which particular issues do you have it problems with, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot one part of uh, Huckabee's speech. Mm -hmm. Me no like feminism. Oh yeah, you, you got to remember <laughs> the spitting.